so now starts the second part of this world travel. Just be curious where we're going. It's actually a different continent. Yeah, and then here you see Goethe since we are in Frankfurt. And finally, before we start, an astronaut. As you may be able to guess already, we are moving right now straight towards Iran or Tehran. A kind of metaphysic idea which may have been provoked by those target system-like images in front of our eyes. But we don't want to reflect on the world's most crazy topic, which is war. And instead we want to focus on this ancient culture, which at those times was called Persia. The paradise coming from Paira Deza, the peaceful rose garden. Well, this is most probably not what you would expect to see looking at a paradise. But I have this strong impression that the presence of this strange banking quarter of Tehran means just we have not really arrived. Well, this mysterious temple actually turns out to be the Golestain Palace. This very palace is one of the most impressive architectures where generations of governing dynasties have been residing since the late 16th up until the early 20th century. It seems quite obvious that they were always trying to impress themselves and their former ancestors by again and again refining the glorious aspect of their palaces and by doing so they created halls of mirrors, countless patterns of perfect symmetrical tiles and they even finally subdued the lore of any conism in Islam. It seems almost as if the rulers, most of them originating from the Qajar dynasties of Turkic origin, were trying to create an image of themselves as being some kind of god kings, similar a little bit to the omnipotent illusion of the sun king Ludwig XIV in the Occident. All those images don't speak so much of the ancient Persian Empire, which once was being led by its quite revolutionary, wise, visionary and compassionate kings.
Anyway, today this palace functions as a museum. And here we see the contemporary architectures of the modern city of which it is surrounded by. The Tehran TV Tower translates as the Tower of Birth. With its 435 meters, it counts as the sixth highest communication tower of the world. The lift brought us up here with a speed of 7 meters per second. It is situated next to the Milad Hospital and the Iran University of Medical Sciences. On the opposite side we find the so-called Pardizan Park. And again, I wonder, when I listen to the word Pardizan, doesn't it remind us to the word paradise? Is this what the paradise looks like? <laughs> find ourselves on this planet, in this universe. Life sometimes seems to be so short in passing by. As long as we do not step behind the mirror or the screen with our hands and emotions and our hearts, we will not be able to truly connect to the minds of the people. We will not catch up with something meaningful in here and now. So now we leave Tehran, going to Iran with an airplane and then we continue over there.
interesting country. When you go to YouTube, the internet, nothing. When you go to Facebook, nothing. Tumblr, nothing. When you check Pond5, nothing. Okay. You want to see the American propaganda? If you go CNN, you have some information, also some of the German newspapers. But all in all, like most of the social networks that I'm active in, there will be just no connection. So I cannot even update you with anything by now. Except there is one strange thing. I opened YouTube on my smartphone and there I have possibility to answer questions. But I cannot see any of my own videos, I cannot see anyone else's videos. So it's very limited, but still I think somehow the programmists were uh, missing like one of the firewalls because still at least this SMS-like communication is possible. Interesting, isn't it? So now we are leaving Shiraz on the way to the legendary Persepolis and hopefully by using the gimbal, the stabilizer, we will be able to do some very nice cinematic shots in this place. <laughs> 